Ever since her split from Cody, it seems like Mary has been making some serious changes to her spending habits. She's even moved from her rental house in Blagstaff to Parowan, despite the fact that she claimed that she would never do that. This has left everyone questioning what the real reason for her leaving could be, and the truth is seriously shocking. Recently, Mary moved out of her expensive rental in Flagstaff and into the building where she operates her bed and breakfast in Parowan, Utah, something that came as a huge surprise to everyone, since in the past, she has been extremely against doing so. But since she's no longer married and doesn't have any small kids to fill up the house, the Flagstaff house probably became too big for her, although arguably, it was way too big even before she and Cody split up. Either way, since she was barely there anyway, the costly rent might have just became way too much for her to manage. But it's interesting that she chose to move into her bed and breakfast, since the whole place only has four available rooms. So by moving there, she probably won't be able to actually rent it out to full capacity, even though it appears as though she's moved there to run the business. It's all just kind of strange, and I don't get why she just didn't downgrade to a smaller rental. This just seems like a weird move coming from her, and it makes me wonder if she might be having some money issues. Although online it looks like the bed and breakfast has several five-star reviews, some people seem to think that it isn't operating at all. It's honestly hard to say what's going on. But what's interesting about Mary is that her finances seem to be a common topic of discussion, especially since many people believe that Cody was using Mary as a source of income for a long time. Toward the end of last year, it was pretty shocking when Mary revealed that she was actually the one who provided the money for Robin's home. This seems strange considering that there were most likely many other ways for the home to be paid for that didn't fully rely on Mary. But the whole thing fell on Mary anyway, which definitely raised some eyebrows and led to questions about her possibly being exploited by the family. And when you really break it down, it seems as though she really was the only one contributing money in that way. And it also seems like she didn't get any of it back, and no one really ever repaid the favor either. In the past, Mary was very supportive of the idea of splitting her money among all of the family members. She'd been incredibly generous over the years, which might have ultimately come back to negatively impact her finances. While this idea of Mary funding the rest of the family's lifestyle might sound a little far-fetched, it's actually not all that surprising to hear. Gwendolyn, who is the daughter of Cody and Christine, actually had a lot to say about the family spending habits, and she said that she believed that her father and Robin were definitely spending way outside their means. I mean, this honestly wasn't surprising at all. We all know that Janelle was living in an RV, while Robin bought and wore $400 shoes. Gwendolyn also said that Janelle and Mary were a lot more similar to her mom, Christine, in that they didn't really ask Cody for money, even if they were well-deserving of it. So it seems pretty clear that even Gwendolyn agrees that Mary contributed a significant amount of money and never really got any back. And after Christine left, I feel like they might have just let Mary fill that loss of income. So it's possible that her constant contributions ran her pretty dry, and now she might be paying the price for it. What's even more interesting about all this is that when Mary opened her bed and breakfast, she was charging a serious amount of money for it. She even put on retreats that cost $6,000 for guests to attend. It was reported that the retreats actually sold out, but then it also came out that that actually never happened. Allegedly, the people that stayed in the rooms were actually Mary's friends. So if that's true, the whole thing was a total bust and she didn't really earn any money from it. Honestly, if she wanted the business to actually succeed, she should have made the whole thing a lot more affordable. As I mentioned previously, the B&B does have good reviews from those who have managed to stay there, but it seems like it's not really all that busy. And now with her living there, there's one less bedroom for her to rent out. It kind of seems to me like she was attempting to overcharge for her retreats in order to make back some of the money she'd lost. And it could have been a last ditch effort for her to make some money back and get in a better place financially. What also makes this whole thing pretty strange is that if Mary was the one providing the majority of the money, why was Cody so quick to end things? I mean, we all know that he didn't really want to be with Mary at all, but some people have speculated that he also just didn't want to continue the marriage because she no longer had the money to support them, and that this was really the only reason why he was keeping her around for so long, although I'm not really sure if that's true. It just seems like a little bit of an oversimplification. Just about six months ago, right after Janelle announced her split from Cody, Mary also announced their marriage had ended as well. In a clip from the Sister Wives one-on-one -on -one special, Mary explained the one thing that really ended it all. She talked about how Cody just decided one day that it was over and that he didn't actually consider himself married to Mary. She claimed that he'd never said that to her once and said that she was pretty shocked to hear him say it. She even said that she'd be willing to work things out with Cody and stay married, but he just didn't want to. So I do think that it's possible that once she wasn't able to offer him any more money, like she had for so long, he decided that he no longer wanted anything to do with her. Then again, it's not like he really wanted her around that much before all this. Their relationship was pretty much non-existent for years. Cody didn't seem to even like Mary at all, so it's hard to say how much of this was actually about the money. Either way, I do feel like it's strange that Mary has been downsizing. I don't know if she's struggling financially right now or not. It's definitely possible, but it's really just hard to say. She seemingly still works with LuLaRoe, so she probably gets a decent income from that, and she just went on a trip to London, which makes me think that she might actually be doing okay financially. Maybe she just moved to Parowan because she didn't see the point in staying in Flagstaff. She did say that she would never move there, but that was before the whole family 
basically completely fell apart. Right now, there really seems to be no reason for her to be in Flagstaff, so I guess that it could be that it had nothing to do with money, and it was just that she wanted to change. Honestly, it's all very confusing and unclear right now, so I'm just not sure what's really going on with her at this point. But anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think Mary might be broke, or do you think she's actually fine? Let me know in the comments below.